Well, well, you know, anybody who wants to reach out, anybody who wants to reach out to children is very welcome, I personally feel. In, if you go back to the history of, in inverted commas, special education schools or special needs schools, they were mostly started by parents, by trusts, by missionaries, by goodwill people, you know, benefactors, etc., etc., etc. I don't think they, they had the necessary qualification or training except and all the rest of it. Certainly if you have the pedagogy, it's always going to be more helpful. Always. Always. But I would still welcome a system, especially in a country like ours, with millions and millions and millions who need to be approached. We would still need what you may, what you may call a barefoot teacher. Like in China, they used to have a barefoot doctor. We still would need a barefoot teacher. And if there's somebody willing and volunteering to come forth and wanting to do something, I, I would welcome that. I personally would, given the kind of system we have. However, however, I also have to concede that the existing courses are inadequate. I have to concede that. And today the courses do cater to, as I say, providing you 95 and 98%. You know, teachers have this constant, constant sword of Democles on their head. The sword being they have to cover the syllabus, cover the syllabus. Now somebody very brilliantly once told me, Rhoda, you don't have to cover a syllabus. The teacher has to really uncover the syllabus. <laughs> and I think that's very true. So, so I, I, I recognize that there is an inadequacy in our existing teacher education courses. And, and that needs to be highly upgraded, no doubt about that. But at the same time, given the fact that we have millions to reach, I would welcome volunteerism also. <laughs>